So earlier today, I uploaded a video giving my reaction to the new Spirit Society banner. Spirit Society characters are finally back, coming at a very strange time, but I don't think anyone's upset whatsoever. It's a very exciting seasonal banner, and it's one that most people are excited for, and one that if you actually do a lot of research into the characters or the meaning behind the designs, honestly, this banner becomes a lot more interesting. So before we do talk about what characters might be appearing in this upcoming end of month banner, let's talk about the end of month banner, right? It is going to be Spirit Society, There's, without a doubt, they announced it now. Now, it's obviously coming at the end of the month. If you are wondering when they are going to get announced, they will be announced in-game sometime next week on the 28th, right? That's when they're going to get announced. And at the same time, I believe at the reset, we are also going to be having the premiere or the video from the New Young TV channel where they should be showing these potential new characters, right? Now, with that said, let's talk about the upcoming three characters. The three characters that everyone has been trying to predict, and honestly... After some research, I think we've cracked it. I think I know the three exact characters. Now, the second one's a bit hit or miss, but we'll talk about it when the time does come. So before we do talk about the three potential characters, I am stalling a bit, do bear with me. Let's talk about the theming behind Spirit Society and how we're going to use that information to find out exactly who might be appearing in this upcoming banner because one character does give it away. So Spirit Society is basically a banner, a theme of Japanese folklore. That's basically what it's based off of. Now, they might use some Chinese folklore, stuff like that right there, but from my understanding is just Japanese folklore and knowing that information you can potentially find out who one character might be appearing in this upcoming banner but for example right if we actually break down the other characters we have the past Spirit Society banner with Grimjow, Gin and Rukia very easy ones Grimjow resembles an Oni, Gin resembles a Fox Spirit slash the Ninetales and then Rukia resembles a Tengu and they even mention it in her description same goes with Byakuya the banner a year later Byakuya resembles a Tengu now this character might be more specific to a certain yokai but essentially he just a Tengu, right? Kayen, from my understanding, does resemble a Raijin, which is a Thunder God, and then we have Rangaku, who resembles a Hone Onam, which is a bone woman that likes to kill men from their attractiveness, so, you know, Rangaku does definitely fit the role there. But then if we look at the new trailer, the one that we got today is showing the three new characters, right? Essentially, the only thing that we got to look at was their hands. And you can't really, unless you're Yoshikage Kira, you can't really decipher a character based on their hands. It's just impossible. Uh, you can't even tell if they're male or female. Well, technically you can. The third character we'll talk about in a minute. So the first character, right? Originally, I thought this was going to be some kind of water god. Originally, I was said that it's going to be a Raijin. And after some research, looking at some Japanese comments too, it does seem to resemble a yokai or some kind of spirit called the Mizushi, which is basically a water dragon, and you can kind of see that with this specific character right here, we have the water effect going around, and we do see that on the hand there is some kind of scale, so I do believe that this person right here is supposed to resemble a water dragon. Now, who is this specific character? Now, when I actually first reacted to this, I did notice on something on his arm, but I couldn't for the life of me understand what that was referencing. I didn't remember the symbol, it was familiar, but I couldn't know what it was until I started seeing a bunch of comments. This is actually Shinji, it's pretty much guaranteed, there's no doubt about it. If you look at his arm, that symbol right there is basically resembling Shinji's Bankai. And knowing that, it's definitely going to be Shinji, there's no doubt about it. They can't include that, which definitely resembles his Bankai, and then include someone like Halibo, like a lot of people were thinking. Now, as originally, I did think the same. Do keep in mind that just because a character is using water abilities here, does not mean they have to naturally use water abilities in the Bleach franchise. A lot of us were seeing snakes thinking Sun Sun. A lot of us are seeing water thinking Kayan, thinking someone like Halibo, for example. That is not the way to think, because if you look at the past banners, we have characters like Byakuya, for example, using freeze abilities, which doesn't really make sense because he actually can't do that in the actual series, right? So one thing you need to know is that it's a seasonal banner. They can really do whatever they want. Essentially, we're just getting a character with some different kind of abilities. So knowing the first one, the first one is clearly referencing a kind of water dragon or water god, and it definitely is going to be Shinji. Also makes a lot of sense when you do consider the fact that we are getting the new young TV collaboration and who is the voice actor there it's Shinji so of course it's going to be Shinji in this banner it makes a lot of sense when you do actually realize that so without a doubt 100% confirmed in my opinion this first character is going to be Shinji so if you are a Shinji fan let me know in the comments below because I'm kind of excited for this this is the first time we are getting Shinji in a seasonal outfit outside of the four star version that we did get five years ago when global first came out so pretty exciting stuff 
Now, what we're going to do is skip past the second character, we'll go back to them, and let's talk about the third character, because this one, I think, is also pretty much confirmed on who it can actually be. So, what do we know from this preview right here? We know their hand is actually covered up, so we can't tell their skin color, which is kind of important. We know that they have kind of braided hair, which does have a blue and a red snake at the end, and there's also a fat snake in front of us. And this led to a lot of people expecting maybe Gin, maybe even a Sun Sun, but as we know, again, just because a snake's there doesn't mean that it's referencing a character from the Bleach series that actually has some kind of snake abilities. I don't think it's Sun Sun, and it's definitely not Gin. So who can it be? Well, originally in my first reaction video, I did think that it was going to be Kaname, for the main reason because one, his hand was covered up, we couldn't tell the skin color, and two, because of the hair. They were braided, they, I thought they were dreads, and I was like, the only character that has hair like that is going to be Kaname. Well, upon further research, if you actually look at any kind of snake yokai in the Japanese folklore, most of them, from my understanding, from what I saw, are females, so it can't be a male character, therefore it can't be Kaname. And then when researching the Japanese snake yokais, I did come across one called the Nuri Ona, which does translate to wet women, and it's not the wet you want a woman to be. But when seeing that, it didn't really make sense. Could this specific character be referencing a Nuri Ona? Well, it turns out it wasn't. I eventually did stumble across one, and hopefully I don't butcher it, a Jokotsu Baba. Now, this is where it starts to get interesting. The Jokotsu Baba is essentially a yokai that carries around two snakes, one that is red and one that is blue. The blue one shoots an icy breath that can freeze everything, and then the red one shoots a deadly fire that will reduce anything to ashes. And then if you have another look back at the character, what do you see? You see a blue snake, and then you also see from the character's hair, you have a blue piece and a red piece. So obviously, in the full character's artwork, there's going to be a red snake on the right side. So this obviously means that this character right here is referencing a Jokotsu Baba, meaning that it has to be a female because this yokai is a female. So there you go, it's not Kaname, but who can the female be? Well, if you actually look at all the females that do exist in Bleach, only one of them has a unique hairstyle that does seem to kind of go in line what we are seeing right here. We see two pieces of braided hair with something attached to the end, and that can only be one character, and it's definitely definitely Soifon. The hair matches up, we can see that the hair itself is actually black, and also we know that this yokai that they are referencing can only be a female, so there really isn't any other options. I'm guaranteed that the first character is Shinji, that one's very obvious, and this one, knowing what the yokai or the character is based off of, it can only really be Soifon. Now, going back onto the second character, this one I think is the trickiest because you can hardly tell what character this is referencing when it comes to Japanese yokai. Honestly, I spent like an hour trying to find out who it can be, and with my limited knowledge, I honestly couldn't come up with an idea. Maybe it's referencing an Akuma. We really have to see the full arc to decide on what that is. But regardless of who it might be referencing, I don't think that's going to help us find out what character it might be, like it did help us with the Soifon situation. Now, if you start to analyze this image, you can notice three things which I think stands out. Firstly, it's the hand. The hand is very masculine. It's definitely not going to be a female. The second one is in the top left, which is some kind of prayer beads. Again, going back to the Akuma, it could very well be that. And then the dead giveaway on what character it might potentially be is going to be right there. What you can see and what that actually is, is the character's hair red hair. So who in Bleach has red hair and has long enough hair for their hair to go down to basically their waist? And that, in my opinion, is definitely going to be Renji. There's no doubt about it, in my opinion, right? Uh, we do know from the past Spirit Society characters that they don't actually change their hair color, so I wouldn't expect this to be an Ichigo with red hair. It very well could happen. It could be the first for anything, but from what I've seen in the past, with the fact that the character's hair colors don't actually change, and this character having red hair and being a male, I definitely think it's going to be Renji. And with that said, lads, that was the breakdown for the Spirit Society 2021 teaser trailer on what the three characters should be. It's going to be Shinji, it's going to be Renji, and it's going to be Siphon, and we will find out on the 28th if it is those three characters. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do show some support by liking the video and commenting down below what you think about the character choice. This did take a while to make, it did take a lot of research too. I could have done more, but, you know, I tried my best. So if you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you lads in the next one. Peace. No little surprise at the end, but I believe <laughs> the Immortal Soul game is getting an anniversary Aizen in their first year. And Bleach Brave Souls, going on to almost its sixth anniversary, has yet to receive an anniversary Aizen. Let that sink in. Crazy.